everyone let me explain you all about the three laws of motion what are the laws of motion well newton has stated three laws of motion let me start with the first one newton's first law states that if an object is in rest or in motion it will stay as it is like if it's in rest it will stay in rest or if it's in motion it will stay in motion until acted upon by an unbalanced force it's simply the law of inertia inertia is of two types inertia of rest and inertia of motion when an object is in rest it's an inertia of rest and when an object is in motion it is an inertia of motion coming to the second law of motion the second law states that the acceleration is directly related to the net force and also the mass of the object so here we can understand that acceleration of an object depends on two elements the force and the mass last but not the least newton's third law states that to every action there is an equal and opposite reaction now let me explain you these three laws of motion with everyday examples well as you have seen here the bottle was in rest until unless my hand which is the unbalanced force disturbed it or forced it to move so here the object is the bottle and the unbalanced force is my hand coming on to the second example i have a chair over here and a remote over here i will be using the same force on both the objects let's see which objects which objects acceleration is more coming on to the first object my chair this is my second object which is the remote have you observed when i push this chair and the remote the remote moved faster than the chair even i moved both of them using the same force are you wondering why but let me tell you how the mass of the chair is higher than the mass of the remote so hence it moved slower than the remote example number 3 walking so here when you walk you are applying a backward force to the ground you are hitting the ground and then the ground is relatively hitting you back which is making you move your leg forward in the same way when you are pushing the ground it is pushing you back so you are coming forward so this example is related to the third law of motion which is action is equal to reaction